got to feed some sheep just now, new gimbal thing for filming. Look at this, getting fancy. The only problem is I have to do it one hand, but hey, I do a lot of great things with one hand. So, conveniently the gate's already open, because I fell over trying to do it with one hand already. <coughs> Six o'clock at night just now, not, not, not ideal. You'd usually like to feed them in the morning, but I'm away at five o'clock, so I don't want to be getting up any earlier. Lazy, yes I am. So it's now six at night. As you can tell, it's getting a bit darker. But that'll do Meg. Lie down, lie down, lie down, lie down. Don't usually bring the dog either. But I was that busy messing about with this, I forgot to leave her shutting it back. Why doon? Why doon? I'm not bothering you, any. Why doon? I might have kept that level, I wasn't watching the screen there, but it's quite fancy, I see thing. Another benefit of giving the sheep a bite is it's a great way to get a close look at them without getting them all worked up. They're coming over to you their own volition. Great word. Anything that's not coming over to get a feed, you know straight away something's wrong, you need to take a look at it. Unless it's blackies. They've just never seen feeding before. Amazing. Imagine having to squint because the sun's so bright today. It's 15 degrees. Amazing. In Scotland, in February. What a place to farm. Look how happy the ewes are. He's happy. Eh? Hey? He's happy, isn't he? Just been fed. Ewes are fit this year and they're brought. Because they are so fit and there's uh, plenty of grass about, uh, they're literally just getting a wee tickle, just don't know what it is in grams or anything like that, but they're just getting a wee bite uh, just to get them used to eating really because they're becoming the shed for lambing and I want them to come in the shed and straight on to taking a bite uh, so there's no issues with things like you know, getting staggers or you know, twin lamb or just going after feet in general. Um, so hopefully out here getting a wee bite they'll come into the shed a lot better. I had toyed the idea of not giving them a bite but I think this is the best way certainly for lambing indoors. Lambing outdoors you get away with no bother, you know, I put a lick bucket out they'll be fine. Quite important you don't overfeed these ewes heavy in lamb and in good form like this. If you start feeding them too much you'll start seeing them putting lamb beds out, prolapsing, etc. Uh, just too good at form. It's, it's hard to win with sheep. Too lean, you've got problems. Too fit, you get problems. It's just all about trying to get the balance. So, giving them a wee bite just now, hopefully that will make the transition to the shed a lot easier. So anyway, that was me feeding some sheep. Pretty simple. First we go to making a wee video for YouTube, hopefully it's short enough, sweet enough and it's been edited in a way that it's easy to watch without you being totally bored. Plan just uh, take some footage when I'm working with sheep, doing different jobs, put it together in some wee videos like this and stick it on YouTube.